All right, in this video, I'm gonna be going through my stock photo sales in September. Now, it is a bit late, I apologize for that. It's almost the end of October, but it has been just a crazy busy month. We released the unlimited version of Ford Lure early this month, and that was a lot of work, and there's a lot of follow-up related to that. But I'm gonna to try to get back into posting these more regularly, and this will be the first one. So let's jump into and take a look at my sales for September. At the top of the list again this month is Adobe. So I made almost $60 in Adobe in September, which is pretty good and it beat out uh, Shutterstock. So Adobe for, I think it's the third month in a row has been my top site. Now I know because it's almost the end of October, Adobe's not gonna keep the top spot for October, but it has been pretty good for me the last couple months. Now the number two site this month was Fine Art America. Now if you're not familiar with Fine Art America, what it is is you can upload your photo photos there and then people purchase them as prints. So that $50 sale is from one sale of one print. Um, I uploaded this photo a while ago and someone went ahead and bought a 40 by 26 rolled up print of it and my cut of that was about $50. So these don't come along every month. The last time I made a sale on Fine Art America was I think two months ago. Um, so it's not a regular site that's good but when the sales come in they are pretty high and it's my second highest site for this month. All right, next is Shutterstock. I made about $30 in Shutterstock last month. Um, not a great month, but you know, that's really what I've been averaging for Shutterstock recently. So, you know, I'll take it, but I know that October is gonna be a much better month for Shutterstock, and I'm really hoping that it starts going back up soon to what it used to be, which is around $50 or $60 a month. But $30 for September, it's not bad. All right, next is 500px. Now I made $30 in 500px, and I'm putting that in September. But what that really is, is it's actually June, July, and August. So 500px, you know, it used to be my favorite site, but it's really gone down hell recently. And for some reason in June, they stopped reporting my sales. So I hadn't had a recorded sale for June, July, and August. So I assumed I wasn't getting any sales, but then in September, basically all the sh sales showed up for those three months and it equated to be $32. Now, I don't even know if I'm gonna get that money because back in May, I went and did a payment request on 500px for about like $270 and I still haven't received it. So I went in and I've tried to contact them about it, but I don't know what's going on over there. They used to be pretty good. You know, the payments would come every, you know, after a couple of weeks of requesting, you know, you would see your sales every month, but it's really gone downhill for the past couple of years, but this year's has been horrible. So, you know, hopefully they'll actually pay me that $32. Um, but if not, you know, it is what it is. There's not much we can do about it. Um, but it is nice to see that I did make those sales over the three months when I thought I didn't make any at all. And the rest of the sales were pretty standard. I did make one sale on Pickfair this month, which I don't make every month, so that's nice, although it was only like seven bucks. And I got some donations from Pixabay. Normally I get donations for Pexels, but I made six bucks in donations from Pixabay. I don't really have that many photos up there, but that's nice to have as well. So if you total it all up, in September I made about $220 for my stock photos. Again, it's down from what I used to make, but still, it's not bad for September. Typically, I make a bit less over the winter, so I'm happy with that. So that's my report for September. If you want to get more information on how I managed to upload my photos to so many different sites, I'll have a link to the PhotoLoo app that I'll put up here, which you should take a look at. You can sign up for the free version and try it out. Also, if this is your first time to the channel, make sure you subscribe. And I have a playlist where I go through and I talk about all of my monthly stock photo earnings report, and I'll put that playlist up here somewhere. Best of luck selling your photos online.